Hi, Ever House. I'm Laura, and today we are in my house in Utrecht. I've been living in Utrecht for 12 years now, and in this house I've been living for eight. I wanted to live somewhere where there was a nice balance between being anonymous and running into people, which I really like. It's a kind of a smaller town, like a small version of Amsterdam. I don't know, there's something about Utrecht that I really love. I work as a costume maker for the National Opera in the Netherlands. I feel like my style has a lot of Victorian influences, I would say. Not that I like initially realized it that much. I like a very maximalist style and even the color on my walls, the green is a very specific green. In the 1700s they called it arsenic green. It's a kind of green that used to kill a lot of people. It was a poisonous green, but I didn't even realize until later on. But that's why I like it even more, I guess. I try to pick all of my things secondhand from like the gum tree equivalent of the Netherlands. <laughs> I never spend any more than 150 euros on things. Also because my wallet doesn't allow any more than that, but... <laughs> I think my couch was like 75. Really like to try and find those little gems. Most of them used to belong to people's grandmothers. I feel like the ghosts of these items keep each other company in my house. <laughs> One of the first things that I bought was my Pink Floyd poster, I guess. And from that moment on, I've just been trying to collect uh, little illustrations or photographs. A lot of the illustrations on my wall are from either my friends that made it or people that I know from the scene. Nonna is one of my really close friends and uh, she does illustrations. I feel like this illustration really captured my spirit animal, so I really love it. So there are these kind of cigarette machines filled with little packs of art. It's called a Bokje Kunst. Get a little box with like a little piece of art in it that somebody made and you can't really know what's inside it yet. It's like a little art surprise. And I think it's really cute and I am addicted to it. So whenever I see a machine like that, I have to buy something. I love her so much. I saw her for the first time in a little antique shop and I was buying a present for my friend and I thought, what if I get that for her and then she has to hang it in her house because it's a gift, you know, you can't throw that away. That's the rule with gifts. Kept on seeing her and fell in love with her cheeky little face. My friends knew about her at one point and then for my birthday, they bought her for me. And she's my favorite little thing in the room. <laughs> oh yeah, I hate butterflies. I have a couple on my wall to let it be a warning to all of them that if they ever mess with me, this is their faith. <laughs> I do everything in this space. I work here, I chill here, I watch movies here. I all of my living in this area, except for sleeping. It's turning more into a studio than a living room, I feel like. But I love that I have the space to do that here. It's very bright, it's a very lively street which I like. Not a light sleeper, I can just sleep through anything. So if there's somebody that has to live here, it might as well be me. <laughs> I never feel lonely here. Like there's always stuff happening outside. So I really like that. I think all of my stuff I bought in the Netherlands. I mean, I don't know where it originally came from, but I know that I all bought it around here. Also because I don't drive, so it needs to be carryable. I just saw it and I was just like, this is where it needs to go. 
two friends of mine helped me carry it up. Well, they carried it up. I just sat there. <laughs> no, I'm very thankful that they did, otherwise it wouldn't be here. And I'm already scared if I ever have to move, I have to take it with me because my friends already called in sick. So I think I'll have to live here forever. I like to hang my stuff on it that I made years ago before I even got into sewing. I had this vintage machino jacket on my phone. I was like, someday I'm gonna make this. And sometime I got to the point where I was like, I think I'm ready, you know? So I tried to recreate it, make a replica of it. It was a little high five moment to my younger self, you know, that I did it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a lot of hats. I, I used to wear one every day almost. So I just hang them on my wall. I have a thing for brass. Maybe I'm overdoing it, it's a bit of an overkill. Is there such a thing? I don't know. Brass overkill. I'm um, considering painting that wall too. I don't like white walls. I'm trying to add another color into the mix. Everybody always says it makes the room smaller and I'm like, let the damn room be smaller, you know? Every Saturday around the corner of my house there's a flower market. And I love walking around there and um, picking up some flowers for myself. I feel like uh, Utrecht has a lot of Art Nouveau influences when you walk around. You see a lot of it, especially on the canals. So maybe unsubconsciously that inspired my items around the house. And a little bit of Pinterest. <laughs> I love that there's a lot of stuff on my wall. I think I have a problem. I need to be stuffed at some point. But I, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna keep on going. I think a lot of people really like a minimalistic style and it really calms them down, you know. To some people, it's maybe a bit chaotic, but to me, it's something that makes me feel at home, so. To each their own, I guess. Subscribe to the Everhouse channel by clicking on the logo to receive updates on our latest episodes. If you have a project we could feature, get in touch with us at everhouse.co.